Okay, once you start, uh, once you've started up Inventor and it's running, the first thing we'll ask you to do, choose to do is to start learning or start working. You're going to choose to start working because the learning you're going to do is by watching this video. Uh, so once you've done that, the first thing you'll do is you'll click on part file. Open new part. The next thing we'll do is we will set up our document to make sure it's using the correct units. So we go tools, document settings, it's across. Units, CC inches, we'll change that to millimeters and then apply. Cool, so now everything's in millimeters. So everything we type in, we don't need to add the units to. So we'll go back to actually start drawing. So we're going to start 2D sketch. This is the basis of how Inventor works. Start 2D sketch and we choose which plane we'd like to draw on. We're going to choose this one. So the first part doesn't matter too much. I'm going to draw just a rectangle. And this, the next most important thing in Inventor, once you've drawn and started your sketch, is using the dimension tool. This means that everything's really nice and accurate. So we'll click on dimension, click the line we'd like to dimension. First thing we're going to do is make it 90. And we'll zoom out here using that tool. And that's our shape ready to go. So we have finished sketch. So now we've created a 2D sketch, so you can sort of see it there, it's a line drawing. The, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it 3D. So the way we make it 3D is to use the extrude tool. So we extrude, you select the plane that you'd like to, or the sketch you'd like to extrude. And that makes it 10mm thick. We now have a 10mm thick block. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bit curvier next. So we're going to use the fillet tool. Now the fillet tool defaults, as you can see here, to a radius of 2 millimeters, which will be fine for what we're doing. So we'll go and select the edges we'd like to round off. So I'll click this one, this one, this one. And you can also see I can actually select edges that I can't even see. So this back edge here, selected. So you can see the preview there shows what it's going to look like. I'm happy with those six. And so I'll go tick. So now I have a 3D block. With the corners rounded off. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a cutout for where the screen is going to go on the face of the cell phone. So I'll click Start 2D Sketch, select the face of the cell phone, and it will rotate round as I do that. Click here so it's centered the view again. Sketch, chuck this in here, and make my dimensions. So I'm going to make this here 40 millimeters will grind. 50. From the here, I'm going to make it 5 millimeters. Here from this edge, I'm going to make it 5 millimeters. And then I'm going to finish sketch. So again, we used the extrude to tool before to make a, a 2D sketch into a 3D object. You're going to use the extrude tool again, this time to cut some material off the object. So we used join before, this time we're going to use cut. And we're going to cut down one millimeter just for where the screen cutout is going to go. And that's the really basic blocks of your cell phone.